welcome back to the Big Country YouTube channel and today we got another treat for you NHRA Z-Max 4 wide yes more mafia is in the house with Suzuki we have brought all of our Suzuki's along with us to show off and Chris is gonna be making a pass on the hype no not the Hyperbusa guys the Hyperbusa the Hyperbusa went down boom boom two broken engines so guess what we had to bring stay with us guessed it twin turb skis yep everybody's been wanting to see it ever since we went to Bradenton this is the first time the motorcycle has been back out it's been sitting in the corner ever since then one because we've been testing the hyper booster to get it ready for this but now it's broke we're out of motorcycles we got to go back to this so now our goals have completely changed our goals this weekend now are to not only go faster mile an hour than those pro stocks like we did in California but now that we got two turbos we're gonna go a faster ET and speed y'all stay in there and watch and see what a twin turbo can do we got three passes this weekend only three with no testing we got one coming up in just a little bit First pass Friday. Go ahead and drop in the comments below. What do y'all think the twin turb ski is going to go this first pass? We got her turned down. Let's meet because we want to go down this racetrack. Keep in mind this racetrack here is prepped for slick tires. Okay, so slicks is a non radial. Right here, radial tire. So we have to turn it down because we're not going to be able to 60 foot like we normally would with good radial prep. We're gonna have to go a slow 60 foot and then pour on them juices on the backside. So look for big, big, big mile an hour for the twin turbo.
that guy. 692, 219 miles an hour on a freaking street. A street tire transfer. Pro stock bike right now and had to follow up to that path. Dude, they got to run right behind you. <laughs> and I went before the prep. <laughs> so 692, BJ, he turned it down. Everything went smooth with that. 130 60 foot. Talk about drive out like going to grandma's house, get us some dinner, <laughs> turn around and come back in a hurry. 219 mile an hour. I'll take it, dude. Good pass, dude. Hey, y'all see that? Four of them, one time. That's right. Don't know what happened to Richard Gadsden there. A little bit of a slow pass. Uh, Teach her up, Richard. Come on. Ellie just stuck in and didn't think I was going to see him. Ellie's been rolling in civilian clothes all day. Yeah, he's, he's wearing civvies. And your world champion, Gage Herrera, is at the end of the table. Now, listen, Chris, you don't have to get crazy like the Vance and Hyde guys with like. A poster. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. You're doing good. We like that about you. And then there's the founder of Drag Race Bracket Bonanza, Elon Werner's here.
688. 210 miles an hour. I think he had to get out of it just a little bit out there, it sounded like. I'm not sure why. I was watching through the camera also, guys, so I can't give you a detailed description on that, but definitely off a mile an hour there. So we gotta figure out what went wrong. So if we're gonna go faster than pro stock bikes, we gotta turn this puppy up. Man, I wish this track had some more stickums on there like what we're used to so we could really turn this puppy up and let her eat in the front half. But he just got her nice and smooth. I'll give him that. But I'm going to tell him for tomorrow, we want to let her rip. All right, ones are on the fast side right here. Yes, sir. Number one is tried for a little too fast for the type of track rep they have here overall super fun experience still went 204 miles an hour didn't use first gear none did you think of that guys so we started out really made our fastest pass first don't really make sense but what happened was the more we turned it up the more it was spinning and so the second pass, traction control was slowing the bike down because it was spinning on top end. The third pass, obviously, you see, it just blew the tire off because once we went quick the very first day and went 219 miles an hour, yeah, 219 miles an hour, then the next pass we went a quicker time but a slower speed because the bike was spinning down track. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. BJ said the logs were showing it was spinning the whole time. Crazy, crazy power from this thing. And like I said, this all has to do with the track prep being for the different style tires. Because a lot of people probably think, Big Country, you're crazy. They're going 300 mile an hour with these 12,000 horsepower top fuels. Well, they got slick tires, guys. If we had a tire like them that was not a radial and was 16 inches wide, we could probably go down the track too. But with a seven inch tire, a DOT radial, not happening. We turned the thing up. We wanted to try and be, we were shooting for number one qualifier in pro stock bike, okay? Gage Herrera went a 667, I believe, and was number one qualifier. We wanted to go faster than that, okay? That's what we were shooting for on that last pass. It didn't happen. It didn't work. We still were way miles ahead of the pro stock bikes on speed. I think the fastest one this weekend went 203. So we blew that out of the park. We still went 204 miles an hour on that last pass. And I mean, 
obviously just blew the tire off and then just cruised down the track. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Did y'all have fun? We had fun. We got to see the four wide, the top fuels. Of course, you know, Gage Herrera, he won the race once again on his Suzuki Hayabusa Vance and Hines. I think he's going to dominate again this year. Let me know what you think about that. Are you a V-Twin fan, Matt Smith, or Gay Herrera? That's a big debate right now in the pro stock bike world. Let me know who you like. Of course, we're Team Suzuki, Gay Herrera, Richard Gadsden. We're always going to be pulling for Suzuki. But until next time, guys, be sure to go check out BigCountry.shop. Hey, and also something new I'm doing. If you sign up and become a member here on YouTube, it's only $4.99 a month. You can support the channel, but I'm also doing monthly giveaways for all of my members, okay? So if you've signed up, you spent your $4.99 this month, you're going to get some. you could get something cool in a giveaway. Um, there's only about 10 people as a member right now, so the odds are really, really high that you could actually win. And the more people that we get, the cooler the prizes we're going to give away. We just did some more mafia merch but check it out the more mafia merch winner also got entered in chris's giveaway because he technically bought a piece of merch from more mafia so this guy could have spent 4.99 and potentially win a gsxr 1000 but the prizes are going to keep getting cooler and cooler and cooler the more people that we get i want to be able to do a set of like core moto wheels or brock performance parts more mafia ecu flash all these cool things that we could potentially give away every single month. Get in on it, guys. It would be the most country thing that you could do. Which brings you to our next point. The main thing that you guys need to do is keep it country. <laughs>